battle line is drawn. Simon Ekman declares no peace for all military barracks in the southeast until they are born to arches. Issue fresh order. Hey, my people. No be small things. I'm on Ekwa. Don't come again with another fresh video. In fact, is in this very video, Simon Ekman was spotted making it open. In fact, it was coming from his heart. He depend this guy when in the talk. He said that he, he said, look, enough is enough. From tonight, from tonight. Any military barracks in the southeast must vacate or be born to arches. Hey, <laughs> he said that enough is enough that they will be causing unrest in the southeast, killing innocent women, raping innocent women to say, and killing our innocent men. The innocent youth will be chased outside. Brutalized and killed like animals. Why the Fulani Maridas will be walking freely? Ekma is saying that from tonight, that enough is enough, that all of those military barracks must vacate southeast because it is the Biafran land. <laughs> In fact, I make I not talk too much so that now will feel yet many one for this very broadcast. Uh, it's actually a video. It's a must watch, and I'm sure you, I assure you. You will want to watch it to the end. All right, take your time. Let's catch in. From tonight, any village in Biafra land, any community in Biafra land that is burnt by any Nigeria agent in any nomenclature, the anything in that area will be engaged. Any facility where they come from to burn and kill our women in our villages, we, the Biafra people, are going to engage them. Be it the military barracks, be it the 82 division, be it anything, you come again to burn any village in any way in Biafra. From tonight, we will engage you. You know, we have been making this pronouncement before, and I believe that... Uh, I believe that the time has come to make it a reality. It is no longer social media uh, talk. Any village in Biafra land, because they have been burning our villages, killing our women, rendering them homeless, in a Hamufu, about 100 houses were burnt. Anywhere we see that military, police, DSS have invaded our village and burned it. From tonight, Every facility that belongs to them, we are going to engage them. We are in liberation and we are in the revolutionary movement for the freedom of Biafra. You can't kill us again and go free. You can't invade and burn our villages again and go free. If you see any criminal, you can go after criminals. If you are looking for criminals, go after criminals. We don't condone crime. But don't burn village again in Biafra. I want you to record this and send it to uh, whoever you want to send it to that uh, Simon Epa threatened to engage the Nigeria for burning the villages and killing our women. And let me see whether any same person is going to listen to you. Because you have rendered our people useless. You no longer respect them. You no longer respect their life. The people that are writing petitions and the Swiss and Manepa are not going to talk when these people come to burn villages and kill the women. I don't know whether any life is different. The life that we lost during uh, answers is the same life that we, will, that we lost during the sit at home is the same life that we lost during important protests, I don't know whether any life is different. In a Biafra struggle, every life is important to us. And our homes, our properties, our women and children are important to us. So if you burn anybody and any village from tonight, believe me, every military barrack in that place will never know peace. It is time we are going to take it upon ourselves. It is man to man, 
inch by inch, block by block, if it is Dr. Chua we are not going to allow you again to kill our people and go free. It is never going to happen again. So tell them, tonight, from tonight, don't burn our village. If you have anybody that is a criminal, go after them. Don't burn our villages. Don't render our people homeless. Do not send our women to IDP camp. This is a...